Hello traders, FS Coletti here. Today is Tuesday, April 2nd. I'm going to be analyzing the Yo Yen starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So on the Yo Yen monthly, I still think this is very, very clearly a 1, 2, and this is all still a wave 3. We are sitting at a Fibonacci extension level, so maybe this will end the wave 4. Maybe not. Maybe it'll just keep on drifting up. There's really no way of knowing. I still think that eventually it needs to make a wave three a wave four and a wave five before we actually even finish this uptrend so still very bullish going down to the weekly time frame i mean yeah it definitely is pulling back at this fib level but do we have a break of structure to the downside do we have a lower high do we have an engulfing move do we have anything at all telling us that this is going down in a big way and my answer is absolutely not this could easily just be a crutch into this last push up and it could easily just keep on drifting up so until proven otherwise, I am definitely very bullish. Going down to the daily time frame is where I got my Fibonacci retracement on this last push up right here. For now, at least until we go down and take out some structure, I am definitely very bullish and I'm definitely looking at this move down as possibly a crutch into this move up. If I see three waves down, if I see a Fibonacci bounce, then I definitely would take it as a long opportunity. The weekly and the monthly are for sure still in an uptrend. There's no proof that the trend is over. So I am definitely still looking for longs on these sort of time frames taking it down to the four hour time frame i definitely think this first push down is a wave a i mean it could be a wave one but it looks like it could be a wave a this move up right here looks like three waves up looks like it could be a wave b it could mo a definitely could be a wave two but i think it's a wave b and to me this looks like a downtrend we are right at the 50 percent level so if it does make a nice engulfing move up nice break of structure i would call that the end of a crutchet and i would definitely call that an entry to go long for the continuation of the uptrend only if we get that break of structure though going down to the one hour time frame really the best thing to see right now would be a break of structure to the upside then a pullback and at the end of that pullback is where i would look to get long and then i would learn and earn at the same time whether this is a correction to the downtrend or whether it's a one two three if it's a one two three it'll just keep on going up and this will be the end of a wave c on the longer time frames if it's not the end of a wave c then instead of being that it will make a correction to this last push down it'll bounce off a of fib level and just keep on going down so as long as you are paying attention paying attention to price paying attention to your structure levels and especially paying attention to your Fibonacci levels, you should definitely be able to recognize whether this is the end of a crutching or not when and if it does break structure to the upside. So until you get that nice break of structure, I definitely still would be looking for sorts, but by the looks of it, it definitely does look like it is most likely going to break structure to the upside. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel linked in the card up here above. And don't forget to check out my new website linked down here below. As always, thank you and happy trading.